$1.4 billion has been approved as subsidies for various bodies under the Ministry of Public Infrastructure. These include the Burbies Bridge Company, Kokwani, Madia, Letham and Linden Power Companies and the Transport and Harbour Department. The Burbies Bridge Company would be getting some $36 million from that sum and Linden Electricity Company would be getting $1 billion. Uh, could the Honourable Minister please indicate how effective the one billion for Lin, uh, the Linden Power Company, how effective it will contribute to the Linden Power Company and the residents of Linden. Or this sum covers the generation of power for Linden, entire Linden, the one the Right. And so it's a so very useful topic to you. PPP Member of Parliament Nigel Daramlal and Public Infrastructure Minister David Patterson. Ask about the cost per kilowatt for electricity per hour in Linden. The minister said that he was informed that it is $60. Opposition Member of Parliament Irfan Ali asked about subsidies that would bring some other areas into what he described as a level playing field. Would you agree with me that places like Wakenham and Leguan, which are part of my constituency, um, are facing tremendous difficulty as a result of the problems in the rice sector. Would you agree with me that we should examine granting some level of subsidy to these areas in relation to the provision of electricity? On the matter of, um, yes, the honorable member is correct, there is a 10% subsidy, so it's uh, 50 cents um, correctly. On the question of Leguan and the islands and the equivalent, those things like that, I think this administration is on the record as saying that we are pursuing green energy and that we, that, that we very shortly will be um, rolling out or going acting for expression of interest on um, standalone green energy wind, wind farms. So, therefore, that obviously, um, with those alternative energy schemes, we do anticipate that we can actually do better than 20 cents that they minister is uh, muted. The government has not allocated any subsidy to the Guyana Power Light Company. For Prime News, Nazima Ragabir.